Welcome to We Funny AF, formerly the Imperial Eagle Live podcast, same crew, new do. We got the upper echelon, end all, be all, duality, part 108, hold up, available across all streaming services. We still have the same website set up for merch at imperialinkmusic.com. Various t-shirts and masks, and we also have new merch on the way specifically for the podcast, and it's coming soon. So, let's get into this, y'all. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, them Imperial boys is back. Yeah. And of course, you know we had to come back on some new shit. Yeah. Uh, uh. So, without further ado, I welcome you to the We Funny AF Podcast. Yeah. I'm the one and only Figs. I'm with my main man, Biggs. And we about to take you there. Let's go. We funny AF. This just in. What up? Welcome <laughs> to uh, We Funny AF. Ski! This, this, ain't that a sexy red? Yeah. That, one, that sounds horrible. Uh, this is uh, This Just In, our Tuesday episode where we talk about shit that figs don't give a fuck about. I don't give a fuck about it. <laughs> it's just random shit. And I'm real raunchy today, so I probably really don't give a fuck about what you talk about today. <laughs> well, let's start with this. I read an article where this dude said, or not just this dude, but several men have started asking for refunds from the lady if the date was bad. <laughs> I mean, like, <laughs> what do you think about that? Because to me personally, I kind of understand, but at the same time, that's kind of fucked up. Well, you a dumb nigga, because first of all, <laughs> we wouldn't have got to the refund stage. <laughs> you know, I'd have ordered up some shit, she'd uh-huh. have ordered up some shit, uh-huh. the date went bad, I was uh-huh. going to the bathroom when I was out there, bitch. <laughs> I was going to leave her laying right there. Like, she, we would, there wasn't no refund needed. Like, I mean, nah, but man, are you serious? Yeah, that's the thing now. Men are starting to ask for refunds after bad dates well bitch look <laughs> you didn't do what i wanted you to do you didn't give me no head i need my 25 dollars back for the motherfucking fair we went to so your payment was getting some head uh, I, well date, i or? mean who is the same what how <laughs> what is the standards of a bad date to where you could get a receipt i i don't know i i don't know it was just part of the article get, get a return fascinated the shit out of me though i was like that is brand new to bitch, me you chewed with your mouth open through dinner i can't take it i need a refund <laughs> you terrible you chewed with your mouth open <laughs> smacking on some food yeah refunds for dates uh-huh. all right check this out this is one that's kind of morbid though i read uh, there was this, uh, I guess it was a funeral home. They offer environmentally friendly bur- burials. You Are you aware of what that is? Or they like tie you to make a tree out of you or something? Sort of. They, yeah. they or, put you in like yeah. a box and make your body becomes compost, right. basically. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, they found 115 bodies improperly stored at this Colorado <laughs> funeral home. And they basically found a bunch of rotting dead bodies and they couldn't they they couldn't even identify who the people were they were so in such a bad state Damn. ain't that crazy what did that place smell that's like? what i was saying i'm like how did that not get out to where you couldn't smell you know what i mean that doesn't make any sense nigga we behind let's see what they say the fremont county sheriff's office found 115 decomposing bodies stored inside a space of about 2,500 square feet. That's like the size of a house, okay. a small house. The bodies are in such bad shape that they will need to be identified through DNA, and that's from the sheriff's office. They were saying, during the last 48 hours, my office made a very dis- uh, disturbing discovery in the town of Penrose, Cal- Colorado. There's been a lot of questions and concerns expressed by the community, especially those of the family who would trust with their loved ones to this funeral home. 
I'm just mind blown. I mean, I get the whole compost thing. It's very, it's cheaper, and it, it makes sense to do that to the body because that's what's gonna happen hey, anyway. Man, my decomposer quit during COVID. <laughs> <laughs> we just behind. That's <laughs> all I know what to tell him. We behind. That just fascinated. We gonna chop these niggas up, and make them in the leaves and shit. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's uh, cool. But at the same time, uh, we just behind. <laughs> <laughs> Did that trip you out though? Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, what if you like? I would be fucked up. I, to, oh my god, just imagine if it's your family. Yeah, man. the yeah. loved ones. Yeah, yeah like, or if it's me, the disrespect involved with that is yeah. it's just amazing. I to wouldn't me. want my the disrespect to my body to be like that. Like, right. I know. mean, like I said, I would rather. I, I would like for my well, body to go to the body farm. But like I said, than I would just be stuck in some. Y'all facility. niggas ain't making compost out of me. You gonna be compost anyway. But Nigga, I won't. I won't cross over a hole. I told you, <laughs> put me in the ground. Don't be trying no funny shit with my shit. You like, gonna be worm food either way. Well, I'd rather them chew on a whole body than a dissected body <laughs> or a motherfucking ash body or a motherfucking compost body. I don't cut shit. <laughs> I don't want to be a tree, <laughs> like, you, they, you know what? I did read somewhere uh, where they were doing that though yeah when they i seen where making trees and shit out of people they put you in this sack yeah and then in they, a tree didn't they yeah, or something but like that they put you in a sack put you in the ground and put the seeds and shit and then yeah you grow and your body a tree. yeah yeah which yeah. was fascinating i thought that was pretty cool you know that's a good yeah. way to go um as long as your shit ain't you know dug up yeah by no for other dogs to just piss on <laughs> and shit like <laughs> <laughs> just people disrespect to do you all wrong when you die they go cut your ass down <laughs> yeah, i don't know just go ahead and bury me the way they've been burying people for centuries. hundreds of thousands of years yeah. <laughs> and want if you to, want to uh, you can mummify nigga out of the shit <laughs> I mean, take some of that technology mummify back. yeah that's, I don't know. So yeah. y'all can unravel me in about don't nobody want to 90 years. Ass 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 still ass me. <laughs> 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 okay, what about this? You know what an Airbnb is, right? Yeah, Airbnb. Yeah, have you heard that they're like, this happened in Australia. It was uh, Airbnb squatters. Do you know what that is? Uh-uh. People, that? People, well, I know what a squatter is. Right. So people just going to Airbnbs and, and breaking they won't in. Leave. And look, yeah. No, they, they actually start out by renting like you would, mm-hmm. but then they won't leave. <laughs> and what's crazy about it is there are legal loopholes that will allow them to stay in that residence. You a motherfucking liar. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that goes along with something I always heard. Which is what? That if you have like a roommate uh-huh. and they living with you and you ready to kick them out, uh-huh. by law, you can't. For 90 days right. or something. Mm-hmm. Nigga, <laughs> I don't believe in that. <laughs> if I had an Airbnb and motherfuckers was staying, I would have showed up with all kinds of guns. <laughs> and I don't give a fuck who y'all get involved. Y'all gonna take me to court? Y'all, y'all motherfuckers, hell, I'll set this whole motherfucker on fire with y'all in. <laughs> y'all getting out of my motherfucking shit. Uh, it is crazy how they do it. Like one of them happened in Palm Springs. It was a uh, they. It was two squads. They were um, brothers and they initially refused to pay in full and they subsequently, uh, what they said, subsequently claimed tenant tenancy rights under California adverse possession law. So basically they were staying there and because they were there for such a long period of time, they almost had the right to just purchase that house. You know what I mean? It almost had the right for them to become Honor, that house. I don't know who hit him with that brick when he was on his way to take the trash out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Check, the one in Australia is real crazy. It was a woman and she lived in this house for, I think they said she had it for like 30 days or something like that. But what was crazy about it is they said she started hoarding furniture and then she started uh, changing the garden around and shit. What? 
what? And then she, <laughs> she started redesigning shit. This bitch thought she owned that <laughs> motherfucker. Then she like, this is mine, nigga. I got it on I the low level like, too. That is crazy. I didn't even know that was a fucking thing. Yeah, well, that blew my mind. I'm I, like, well, I mean, I'm going to jail as an owner. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to jail. I'm getting out of my shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to find what they said she did. Uh, planting trees in strange areas across the parking lot, uh, parking lot of the place. Um, uh, they said she denied any of the <laughs> allegations. Uh, she she employed a security guard mm-hmm. to ensure nobody mm-hmm. evicted her. Um, and that's that was in this Australian situation. I'm like, that's some crazy fucking shit right there. They would have had to come get me. <laughs> and I mean, I know a lot of the people from the Airbnb places that have places all across the world. Yeah. They might not even live in the same state or on the same side of the country. Right. But I tell you what, <laughs> if we had this problem, I'm on the next plane. <laughs> I'm on my way to my shit. <laughs> I don't give a fuck what the cops got to say. If uh, they, they can come with me. But when they start talking about, well, man, uh, man you can't uh, exactly a victim. Uh-huh. Shots fired. <laughs> nigga. Pow, pow, pow. <laughs> nigga, we, we go, we're going out in a blaze of glory. <laughs> they just going to big boy my shit. Yeah. yeah. Airbnb squatters. They said they might be attra- attracted to uh, tourist destinations and you know, high concentration, what they say, short-term rentals and shit like that. Um, but th- these are the following states that you actually can possibly get away with that shit. That would be California, Colorado, Illinois, New Jersey, New York, Pennsylvania, Washington. And I'm like... I don't give a fuck where we are. <laughs> it's not going down like that. <laughs> it's just not. Ain't going to happen? No, I can't allow it to. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck I got an Airbnb for if I'm just gonna let some motherfuckers take it and move it just, <laughs> no. I thought that whole situation they will was just be removed insane. can you imagine having a house that you were written out as an Airbnb you come back like 20 days after they paid and all the shit inside has changed yeah <laughs> and the garden outside is different <laughs> I caught and a bitch. security guard I caught a bitch be like what the fuck is wrong with you <laughs> it's like your house <laughs> like, <laughs> what the fuck made you think that you had the right to touch anything in this motherfucker? Are you mentally fucked up? Either that or brilliant. One of the two, because they got away with it. That's what was tripping me out. Is though they actually got away with like it. I said, I, I'd say that would bring up a, whole, a bunch of whole brand new laws and rules that I'd had to be wrote for that, that shit. motherfucker on fire. <laughs> <laughs> and roast marshmallows <laughs> and then collect the insurance money. <laughs> and we won't do Airbnbs again. <laughs> that shit is done. <laughs> uh, I got one more on here that I thought was funny and I'm going to ask you is uh, 14 things all men do but won't admit to. So I want to see <laughs> if you did any of these things. And some of them are far fetched shit I've Ooh. never even thought about. But one of them was imagine your entire life with the girl you just met. You ever done that? I probably have. <laughs> really? I mean, I've, you know, in, even in high school, you probably met a girl and liked her and uh-huh. just was thinking about what it could be like and, I want, and, and dreamy and, <laughs> <laughs> and thinking about, you know, damn, we look good together, man. We look good together with children. Oh, <laughs> and then really? you start to get to know the bitch and you like, uh-uh. <laughs> that ain't what I thought. Uh, no. That's not the one. Uh, let's see. Another one was morning pee sometimes goes sideways, and there's the annoying cleanup to do. Yeah, nigga. Sometimes <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. It's been more as a nigga with just plain peeing on the side of the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Is that because you was there half asleep or just try to know, pee? I mean, I try to explain this to females too because they get mad. Yeah, uh, about your miss piss control. So yeah. yeah, your piss yeah. control. Like it's hard sometimes, especially if your shit's hard. <laughs> if your shit's hard, you, you gotta you gotta 
brain jet shit first. <laughs> then sometimes you might have to step back because so you're hitting the back of the commode. Or, you know, you got to sometimes, sometimes you don't even know why. But your piss just comes out in, in two streams. streams. Yeah. One way goes the other way, the other way. Yeah, like, so, I uh, mean. I, I worked with a dude who said he had a three-streamer one time. I, tried, I was like, really? I, I, so I was amazing. blocking your shit up. Yeah. Right. <laughs> but, that's what I said. I was like, wow. I ain't never had that happen. Yeah, but, yeah, the two-stream thing, yeah, yeah. I've seen that, that's happened before. Uh, shit. Then women get pissed off about it, too. Mm-hmm. And they really get mad about the toilet seat. I know, clean mine up, but, you know, at the same time, nigga. Some niggas just lit his head. The bathroom all pissy. <laughs> That's gross. What about this? Uh, number three was daydream about insane scenarios that will never happen where you're the main hero who swoops in to save the day. Have you ever done that? was one I've never thought about. Have you ever thought about that? No, I don't really. They had examples like um, one of them was landing an entire, an entire airplane in an emergency. Uh, what happens if there's a robbery and I stop the bad guy or uh, what else they thinking you can save someone's life if there's a random medical emergency and shit like that I don't daydream about it because I do it in real life oh do you yeah you save people every day all the time really yep how does this work I saved this one nigga last week from what (laughs) He, he was about to jump off Walmart. <laughs> I, I, I got a megaphone and uh-huh. I told him, you know, I had to bribe him, tell him I'd buy him TV if he come in. But he came off the roof. Nah, for real, nah. I don't, I don't daydream. Me about neither. Being I've never daydreamed about being a hero of anything. That's that one. If I'm daydreaming, it's probably about that ass. <laughs> <laughs> I have bad daydreams too. Like I, I get these certain fucking daydreams or visions of somebody doing something to somebody I love mm-hmm. or. Something happened in one of my grandchildrens, and they're just like, "Oh, I'm really? Like, yeah. It's not even. It's not real. Happen. Yeah, right. you know what I mean. It's, but, it's like a dream, a little yeah, dream. Like uh, I, I, I just get a shaky feeling. Like, uh, oh God, huh. like I'll just have a vision of something. Right. You know, bad feelings are a bad vibe. And I'm just you like, never had like any premonitions or anything that came true, have you? Not necessarily, but mm-hmm. I swear to God, my deja vu's be real than a motherfucker. Yeah, I, I get those a lot. I, yeah, but I do I'll be like, you feel like you've done I, some shit. Yeah, I've been here before. Right. I did this before. Like, yeah. I do that a lot. I do too, and I'm not sure what that's about. Some people say it's from previous lives. Yeah. Like, do you think in, do you think reincarnation is a thing? Do you think people come back as other people later? I don't really question that. Uh-huh. I think if if I really believed in it, that's what I'd want to do. Mm-hmm. I'd want to come back as. I want to live again. But would you want to come back with the knowledge that you were here before? If I came back you? with the knowledge that I was here before, I'd be the baddest motherfucker to ever Word. step, <laughs> step <laughs> foot <laughs> on the concrete. Yeah, things would be different mm-hmm. if if I if it, if you could yeah. be reincarnated and remembered everything you had dealt with or whatever you had experienced. I, I before. don't want to be reincarnated as just a, a, a piece of grass. <laughs> <laughs> just sit there and eat a piece of grass or some shit, a flower. What's wrong with gl- grass? A tree. Ain't nothing wrong with grass. I won't be able to get busy. <laughs> Matter of fact, I'd want to come back as a baby. I want to start my whole shit over. Really? Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, but you ain't gonna remember shit as a baby. Yeah, well, but I can do it all over again. <laughs> <laughs> that shit is funny. What about this one, number four? Uh, nose picking is more common than anyone will admit. This dude said, I'm pretty sure my car won't work if I don't pick my nose while driving. <laughs> Somebody, I mean, everybody go pick their nose. You think so? Yeah. You think everybody picks their nose? In like pro- digging deep in, in the nose? In private times. Uh-huh. Or, I mean, I don't really be out public picking my nose. But <laughs> I might get to motherfucking digging if my uh, nose is itching and I'm driving or something. Yeah. I'll be like, I mean, but I keep paper towels and shit. Just right. to, I but mean, that's different, though. When you your nose is itching, you're going to do all kinds uh-huh. of shit, you know, but... I'm talking like literally finger in there digging for whatever you got to dig for. I, I know a nigga right now who's probably somewhere digging his nose and don't give a fuck who sees it. He goes by the name of Jay Storm. 
<laughs> you just gonna put him out there like yeah, that. Yeah, that's my nigga though, buddy. He ain't never gave a fuck. That's yeah. true. You talking about the dude that likes to get butt naked on other people's couches just to take a nap. That nigga so, never gave a fuck. No, not in the slightest. <laughs> that's true. All the normal shit that you say ooh to, just picking up the nose, the burping, the farting. This nigga ain't never gave yeah. a fuck about it. <laughs> Jay, something else. That's my nigga though. Yeah, he's awesome. What about this one? Number five. This dude said he's over a foot taller than his wife, so he often jokes that she's uh, his better third. But he hates to be the big spoon, which means he says nothing makes him happier in his marriage than to be uh, curled up like a little spoon with her behind him, uh, running her fingers through his hair, and it makes him all giddy and shit. So. What do you think about the whole spoon situation? Or do you even do that? Do you yeah, even cut yeah, like anything the, like that? I like the spoon for not for long periods of time. Right. And I ain't going to lie to you, motherfucker. Right. I might. I, do, I could take either way. Really? You can Bigger spoon little spoon? Me. Yeah, I take either way. Because I know some dudes that have a problem with being a little spoon. Nah, yeah, they feel, but shit. They feel some kind of way about it. But I like it, my right? head rubbed. Uh-huh. I like my back rubbed. Uh-huh. I like, you know, so I'll roll over and you could fucking do that all day. Right. Plus, I like the warmth. And when it's cold, the uh-huh. warmth of you up against my back. Yeah, and but then I might turn point, around and want the warmth up against my front. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but but at some point, though, don't you like get really hot? And be yeah. like, get off me. Look now, <laughs> let's say this. The fuck off me. And you, if you want to, ver- if you want to verify this, uh-huh. you could go ask B. Okay, but uh, I she'll will do that. She'll, she'll tell, tell you. <laughs> she'll tell you that. Yeah, a nigga, cuddle till it's time to go to sleep. Oh, for real. And then I'm gonna roll over, and I would <laughs> wish you didn't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> as long as I'm awake, if we let her watch the movie, I'm good. But uh-huh. when it's time to sleep, I don't sleep. You, you and just cuddle. want to sleep. I you don't, don't want to be touched. Yeah. You don't want to be nothing. You yeah. just want to sleep. Sleep. I roll over <laughs> on my face and pay no more attention. Are you a, you a face sleeper? You a, a stomach sleeper? Yeah. Oh, okay. Do you ever sleep on your back ever? It, I have nightmares when I do. Really? Yeah. Really. Uh, what really? Does really? it this random nightmares or is it like specific shit? This is random, but you know I kind of. Well, I wonder just, what that means. Why? Well, I I just always chalked it up to because I don't sleep on my back. So if I'm on my back, then you know. It's, no, I don't. I don't I, understand. I don't know. <laughs> I don't, know, but, uh, I don't it, understand at all. I have nightmares. On really? My back. I didn't know people could have positionary nightmares. That's interesting. Well, it might be a coincidence, but I, every time I wake up. And I've had a nightmare. Uh-huh. I'm usually on my back. Do you sleep on your side at all? I sleep on my side sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Do you, they have a pillow now designed for that, where you can like put your arm underneath it, so you're not laying on it because you know your arm will fall yeah. asleep. I want one, nigga. I've injured myself the way I lay on my arm Is in it my shoulder. Sleep. Yeah, yeah. Same here. Mm. I've had that shit happen. So it fucking sucks. What about this? <laughs> Kicking ice cubes under the fridge when they fall. J Storm. <laughs> you right though <laughs> I see them do it You right though I, I'm not surprised In the slightest They said it's not a problem Just water under the fridge When we was younger <laughs> and, I mean Jay always His crib was always like Kind of a College crib Even though yeah. we was It's clean Unless you A college kid Cause it looks like There's gonna be clothes And one here. day <laughs> One day I went Some over there and you know Raymond was his roommate. Pizza so boxes. I was coming to see Ray. Uh-huh. And uh <laughs> Ray wasn't there yet. So I'm standing in the kitchen and me and Jay and somebody else is talking probably Alf. Mm-hmm. And uh Jay's eating potato chips. <laughs> and he drops one on the floor. Uh-huh. Without even thinking about it. Uh-huh. That nigga kicked that chip under the refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> I called Ray and said, nigga, your roommate is hell. Just kick the chip under the refrigerator. <laughs> Didn't give a fuck. That shit is funny. Yeah. And Jay would do that anywhere. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. He does not care. He would do that at anybody's house. I mean, I don't want to make the whole, the whole motherfucking show. I can tell stories about Jay you wouldn't believe. The way that might be a new section. Well, I'll just tell you this one, <laughs> and then we'll be done on Jay. Okay. But this is a, this is a testament to how he does what he wants to do. Mm-hmm. One night after the show, 
we all come back to my house. Mm-hmm. We with some just some a few dudes, a few girls, and we chilling and we lounging. Mm-hmm. And everybody's just talking and mingling. Mm-hmm. Well, Jay comes in. Okay, he says hi to everybody. Uh-huh. Next thing I know, mm-hmm. in my house, mm-hmm. I hear the motherfucking pots and pans rattling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> I go in the kitchen, uh-huh. Jay cooking him some eggs and bacon. <laughs> Your eggs and bacon. In my house. <laughs> didn't ask. He didn't, didn't give a fuck. Probably done took his shoes off. He, I mean, he was staying all night, but it just was funny that <laughs> you just came straight in and went straight to the kitchen. Did right. you say anything to him? I was like, damn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's like, I'm hungry. I was like, I mean, what can you say? You know what I mean? And Jay don't give a fuck. At all. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me in the slightest. Number seven, if you're single and straight, having feelings or attraction to almost every female friend you got, it doesn't have to be strong feelings. It doesn't have to be romantic, but you've thought about it at least once, maybe three times. <laughs> Is that a thing for you, straight fellas? I don't really think I agree with that. Like, if you're single and you have, but you have an array of female friends, do you think about them in that way? Well, younger, uh huh, yeah, you're younger, younger. I probably only made friends with a bitch to try to fuck her. <laughs> <laughs> These days, I value my friends. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. not trying to fuck every friend I have, yeah. and I'm not single. But even if I was, right, I just could. I don't think I feel attracted to you know. I in these days, you wouldn't want to fuck your friendship up, right? You know what I'm saying? I guess if when you have a true, age, like you yeah, said, you got a true friendship. But, yeah, uh, yeah. Back then, <laughs> I was like, "You my bestest friend. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Give it up." <laughs> That's what you say underneath, though. Yeah. You don't come out and say that. Mm. Uh, what about uh, this one? <laughs> singing along to a song that you shouldn't like. But you do anyway. I do all the time. Do you? I do it just for the fun of it. I will make up new words. I do it to annoy people. I, I, I do it. I love it. Do you like uh, that? Uh, would you ever sing to Call Me Maybe? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Hey, I just met you. And this is crazy. The feeling. <laughs> so call me maybe. <laughs> I can hear you singing that in the car. What if God was one of us? <laughs> That's a good song, though. Just a stranger on the bus trying to make his way home. That's yeah, a good song. I'll be singing that shit. That's a good one. Um, what about this one? This one is simple and. It's crazy because the older we get and the more people I've come across, they all do this. And it's a very simple one. It's crying. That's it. What about it? Just crying. Do do most a lot of men, older men, oh, older than us, feel like crying is one of them things that you ain't supposed to do, that you ain't supposed to show that side. I kind of would think it would be in reverse. How? I kind of would feel like the young niggas would be like, yo, fuck that shit. I ain't crying. Well, it might be. You and know I what feel mean? like the older people probably can't hold tears like they used to. Right. You know what I mean? They've probably been through too much to yeah. where they got to let that shit out. I yeah. think, I mean, I cry more I cry more now than I did. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, so. I can, I can relate to that. I mean, but I don't really cry. I don't cry on a regular basis. Uh, you know, I've pain don't make me cry, but right. I have had you know some tragedies that yeah. got a nigga. Yeah, and, yeah. And, you I, know. I, I, to me, crying is not a bad thing. It, it's better to let that shit out than yeah. than to hold it in. Because the longer you hold it in, the worse it well, is for it you. Used so. to be a time where I wouldn't have let you see me cry. Oh, for real? I might cry in a car. <laughs> I might cry at home, but now if I'm a cry, I'm a cry. All right, fuck it, let's let it out. Shit, don't hold on to that shit. Uh, what's another one? Uh, number ten. <laughs> Sniff your armpits to, uh, to be sure it don't stink, or because you like the smell. <laughs> Sometimes that's just because I like the smell. Ew. I mean, fuck. So, <laughs> I like my deodorant, man. I mean, I mean like, damn, that shit smells good. That dove, what, that dove for 
for men, boy. Uh-huh. <laughs> mm. Is that shit. what you're wearing, though, for men? I'm, I don't know if it's for men, but uh-huh. I'm wearing some dumb shit. And, oh, okay. and I just tried it. Like, I usually with the, uh, <laughs> with the degree. <laughs> okay. And I'll be like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Now, if they, if I think they funky, I ain't gonna just be sitting there trying to smell them. <laughs> I'll be like, yeah, I know what they smell like. I, I ain't but see, that's the thing. Some people like funk. Yeah, I've uh, met people who are enamored by funk, male and female. I've I met I, both. Yeah, like I stank. Know, I know. I don't understand. But they can't. They, you know what? They, I, they're nose deaf. They can't smell themselves. What, uh, I, I feel like in no, some I'm not cases, talking about themselves. I'm talking about on other people. Oh, but yeah, it's it's it's. I, I was gonna say I kind of get some of the the idea of somebody smelling. Because some people have a natural smell about them that's well, not bad. Well, I know women like, I know there's women that like men that come in a little funky, a little sweaty, right. a little, you know. Right. I get that's that. That's why I keep my nuts extra sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> in case of what? They want Ew. that. They want that. They want that funk? That from under cheese. Ew. I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> that's disgusting. <laughs> you said I'm just playing. Y'all ain't playing. You know, I'm just um, saying that to get you mad. <laughs> <laughs> the number 11 was uh, you check out women or men if they prefer uh, that they find attractive in public with their partner. Yeah. Do y'all do y'all point them out to each other? Like, do you point out a every girl now and then to her? Or I mean, she like out my girl doo-doo? wants me to go see this specific doctor right now just because the nurse's ass is so big that I need to see it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean, but I, I think it kind of depends with her because if uh, I'm just eyeballing something, that's different. She probably gonna punch me in the side yeah, of my head. Yeah. <laughs> to her, that's different. Yeah, that's no, kinda, but I guess she feels. She's kind of cool. Sometimes I do it just to piss her off. <laughs> <laughs> just, just I look just to piss her off. See, I'm lucky though, cause me and Tim we point out dudes all the time. Be like, look, <laughs> look over there, look at that, uh, all the time. You know, he probably like, know how to wrestle. <laughs> 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 uh, nah, but that that also brings to mind a story that happened with me and Tim in the mall one time. Um, we were walking through the mall in Johnson City, and this black uh, couple was walking by. And they were on the left side of me. Tim was on the right, and we was pro- approaching each other. Uh, they spoke, you know, mm-hmm. and I said, "What's up?" And kept it moving. Um, and then another dude walked by and spoke. A little black guy walked by and spoke. What's up? Kept it moving. And Tim was like, "Do all black people everywhere speak to each other?" I yeah. said, "Mostly." I said, like, "Especially in the South." You already in told this the story. Yeah, did, yeah. I, did, I, did I tell it on here? I think, but I'm not sure. I you might know. have just told me. I think I just told you, but, but they, yeah, he went and tried it out. <laughs> it didn't some, work for him. With some, no, with some white people that was walking by, <laughs> he just looked at him and said, "Hello." <laughs> <laughs> and they just looked at him and I was like laughing my ass yeah. off. I was like, it don't work for us. It's kind of like niggas have this radar that touches each other, especially in the South. Of yeah. Saying what's up to each other to yeah. let it, let us know that nigga you ain't alone. Right, right. That's what I was saying. I said, it's just, just, I guess it's a local black thing. I don't know. Yeah. But, you know, it happens. Uh, what's another one? Number 12. Look at guys on the street and imagine. Uh, one on one, where we end up winning with some cool moves. Basically, you fighting somebody. <laughs> you imagine fighting somebody and beating them. I have imagined that. Uh, have you? <laughs> I mean, I've imagined. I've imagined worse shit. Like I told you, I'm the type of nigga that if we were standing on the edge of the Grand Canyon Rock, uh huh, I'd imagine pushing you off of that motherfucker <laughs> to a point that I'd have to walk away from you just in case I accidentally <laughs> did it just because I couldn't help myself. Like, I, imagine, I imagine crushing people's fucking skull <laughs> while they sitting there talking to me just... <laughs> just I'm looking at their face. Y'all, face, y'all like, ever like sit and talk to figs and y'all see this face that he just made? <laughs> y'all say it's probably getting yeah, crushed yeah, in his mind. Like, I, think it, ooh, <laughs> I can see that. I wish y'all could see this. <laughs> <shit>. <laughs> I just zoned off. I zoned out. 
He ain't listening to you. <laughs> Worth a damn. He ain't just listening to you. Think about how I like to smack your <laughs> The feel in my hand as your face <laughs> meets, meets it. <laughs> that shit is fucking funny to me. Y'all don't. Don't say no off the wall shit to Figs yeah. and have a conversation with him where he zones out because he's probably killing you in his brain. Mm, bro, um, yeah. One of the other ones, and this one I can see, I don't know if you would do this or not. You might could fill me in. I know what I would do. Uh, crying like a baby when your pet dies. Have you ever had to deal with I don't think you've ever had like a pet, though, except for one you got now, though, right? Right. But, uh, well, I mean, I've had all kinds of fish die. Right. I ain't cry. I was going to say, that's uh, yeah, different than niggas. me. Fish don't hold yeah. that kind of uh, But, <laughs> you know, I'd be very fucking sad. I, I, I can't sit here and act like I wouldn't. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I'd cry or, you know. Mm-hmm. I know some people that... Like I said, I know some people that take their pets so serious. There was an actor in motherfucking Venezuela or one of them saucy places. And uh, <laughs> where he lived, they made his uh, dog move. Uh-huh. And he had to put his dog down. Damn. And he killed himself. Over the dog? Yeah, it drove him so crazy after he killed his Damn. dog that he killed himself. Wow. Like, there's people who take it that, that shit. You know, I love my pets, but I'm not going to kill myself. I mean, I mean, I love I them. don't want to get racial. Oh, shit. <laughs> But white people, <laughs> they be kissing them in the mouth and shit. My dog sneaks them on you. My dog sneak you yeah, too. He, he'll sneak them on you. But these some people will come by and see get to meet my dog. Uh-huh. They don't care. They ain't no sneak. They fuck her up. <laughs> like, I'm just like, I'm like I just sit here and watch her lick her ass for thirty minutes, right? And you kissing her dead in the mouth. Well, shit, they might have ate somebody's ass. Yeah, that's <laughs> possible. That's not that big of a well, deal to them. I love my dog. I let her lick me. I'm not that squeamish. That, that was gonna be my next question. But she, she don't she lick like your hand, yeah, or your arm, yeah. And stuff I, like I that. I don't really like Do you it. Make them stop. I have though? to make her stop after a while. Uh-huh. I mean, she'll lick your whole fucking body if you let yeah, her. Yeah. And um, so I have to be like, okay, that's enough. You that's know the way uh, Link is. He uh, likes to lick. Mm-hmm. Like that, and uh, no. Tim can't deal. Right. He hates, <laughs> but I don't do the facial. Licking. He might get three licks in, and after that, he's done. I don't I, care. He said that lick me on my arm. Hand, I ain't whatever. never gonna say I, I ain't never care. kissed on her head or on her nose. Right, or, right. That's, know, that's that's different. But. I ain't sitting there tongue kissing on her. <laughs> <laughs> like some people do. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of nasty. I don't know if I can fuck with that. Uh, this is the last one on the list, and I think it's hilarious. It's shoving their hand down their pants just because. Hell yeah. I put my hand in. I'm Al Bundy when it comes to the hand down the pants. I go to sleep. I walk around. Uh-huh. Uh, I, I, just, I mean, I don't really touch nothing, but actually, I well, my hands stay cold, so I like the warmth. And they just, I just read that. And then when I was just reading this to you, they said that a lot of times it has to do with warmth. Yeah, and I mean, I don't put it like on my crotch. A lot right. of times, I just put my hand on the on, on my the side. leg. Yeah, I yeah. do that too. Yeah. It's it's just a habit, and I've done that forever. So yeah, that's yeah. that's the thing. Uh, I got one more subject uh, that I wanted to bring at you, and we keep talking about these people, and I don't give a shit one way or the other, but I do find the the workings of it fascinating. That would be the Will Smith Jada Pinkett thing. Mm. Have you heard the latest on that shit? Uh, what that she said that they had been separated for seven years. Yeah, mm. and that Chris Rock had asked her out prior. Yeah, I heard Did that. you hear about that? Yeah. So, <sighs> what do you think? Do you still think she's the one who's the 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 culprit in that whole situation? Because the idea that they tried to keep that as well, they didn't try. They kept that a secret for seven years. Number one is fascinating to me. I, although I'm not surprised by it in the slightest, but but it seems to me one person in particular was a little bit too um, mentally 
uh, distraught about the whole situation now but it kind of makes sense in a in a sense because mm-hmm. you know will might just want to keep his family together right and she was pulling away if they were separated mm-hmm. or you know whatever was happening mm-hmm. and that might be why he caused himself to act out the way he did, did. The and you know mm-hmm. it it kind of made me out of nowhere feel sorry for him yeah but at the same time, I still think it was a sucker move. I don't argue that he's a sucker for love, right. um, you know, but I do say that no telling what she could have been or what the dynamic of their relationship was if they've been separated for seven years. Yeah, and I think they said that whole entanglement thing happened during that seven yeah, years he could as have been, well. Yeah, and he could have been fighting to try to get his wife back. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? And he might have just been under wraps he might have been googly eyed right but you know um the entanglement things what trips me yeah out, that was what their son's friend well that nigga was fucking too he got caught fucking <laughs> did he yeah i, I, ain't heard, did I he? mean it's like worldwide news that him and margot roby hooked up at one oh, point yeah in time. yeah during the um that the, that What's movie focus Oh no! Uh, it wasn't focus. focus, or was it? Uh, was it focus? It could have been. They was in that, and then it was they the were other one. Then they were in well, the, they were the superheroes, the Suicide Squad, Suicide Squad. Yeah, yeah. wow. She don't even deny that shit. <laughs> so, yeah, like See, it was. Some, it was some kind of shit. interview or something like that, and she. Uh, oh wow! She really didn't say no. no. I didn't <laughs> get that. <laughs> but uh, that at was the same time, crazy. I mean, Jada had to punch Nona Gay in the mouth one time when they was doing uh, Ali because they was getting too fresh. And really? So Jada's been on the scene and all of this shit. You know, I mean, no telling the real dynamic of right. how that relationship's getting. All right. But what I hope is y'all go ahead and get a come complete clean divorce so i can start watching will smooth smith movies again <laughs> i just want to see some will smooth, smith I, movies. I was thinking the same thing because she was saying that the only reason why they hadn't got the divorce is because she couldn't bring herself to do it mm-hmm. she doesn't know how to go about it i'm like well, did you just put it out there that y'all ain't even been together for seven years why are you staying here? Your kids are grown. They don't need that that dynamic of the relationship. Yeah, you having entanglements. That's what I was getting ready to say. And that was something else that got on my nerves is when they did that interview when she said she got into an entanglement with. I'm like, just call it what it is. You now cheated. you ain't you ain't <laughs> you supposed cheated. to cry like Will. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't supposed to be sitting there crying at the red table <laughs> while she's telling you basically she was fucking somebody else the whole time. <laughs> what you supposed to do in that situation? You supposed to act tough until the camera's not rolling, and then you can cry. Yeah. <laughs> Cry while you black it out on her motherfucking ass. <laughs> so you cry. <laughs> we advocate violence. Bitch, on. I hate you. <laughs> 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 it's fucking that nigga. <laughs> you sound like dude on Harlow Nights. Uh, his brother yeah. got shot. <laughs> <laughs> he shot Jimmy. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> you black motherfucker. <laughs> what do you think you're doing with that little shit? <laughs> <laughs> Quit it Stop it Put that little shit up <laughs> So That has been <laughs> This just in mm. Check us out On Apple uh, Podcasts And Spotify And Spreaker Wherever you get your podcast That's a lot of places It is We're everywhere Check us out <laughs> We out